Hello, everybody. Welcome to this special presentation of theCUBE. It's almost CUBE after dark. We're here at Randy Seidel's abode. He runs the sales acceleration. This is his exec event. He's got like 30 or 40 of Boston's top executive sales pros, CEOs, of, of go-to-market executives here at his home. And uh, he's got a big sit-down dinner, kind of a buffet. He's got the bar going. Uh, Chris Riley is here. Peter Bell's on his way. Dave Donatelli just walked in. So it's an amazing, amazing crew. And I would like to introduce you to Tyler Osborne, son of Patrick Osborne, the famous Patrick Osborne. Tyler, great to meet you. Thanks great for coming. Great to meet here, you. Man. Nice to meet you. So tell us about yourself. You're a sophomore in high school. Yes. Where, yes. What high school you go to? I go to Boston Latin School. Oh, Boston Latin. Yeah, wow, that's downtown. impressive. Yeah, yeah the yeah. top top school mm -hmm. in, uh, in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your favorite subject? Um, I like math right now. Math, uh, math. That was a and math I, major. And we have to, we're required to take Latin, so I like that too. I like that too. Oh, okay. Veritas, baby. So, exactly. okay. So, tell, what are you into? Like, you're, first of all, Gen Z, right? That's yeah. Gen Z. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think of millennials? The kind of, you guys, the, the Gen Z's like goof on the millennials? A little like, bit. Because they're bit. all like a little staged, aren't they? They like, you know, you know what I mean by that? I feel like there's a front to it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's a little act kind that's of taking going on. The world now. Yeah. Okay, so what are you into? Are you into, into sports? You into games? Yeah, I, I like sports. Um, I play lacrosse and golf right now. Um, what position in lacrosse? Midfielder, midfielder. Ah, a lot of running. A lot of running, a lot of running. Okay, but that's the best position, It's the best right? part, it's the and, best and part. You, go, you have a golf team as well? Yeah, yeah, just finished up the season, so. Okay, do you do you, do you play? I mean, yeah, you, yeah, so I play a lot. I, I actually start on varsity. You do, congratulations, yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. My business partner, John Furrier, was just down at the uh, the SAS Open yeah. last weekend. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it on yeah. TV, it was amazing. He played in the Pro-Am. Oh, wow. He, he played with Patrick Harrington, and uh, then he played another day with Justin Leonard. Wow. So yeah, so that's wow. pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. So what? What's you have? Yeah, obviously you have a handicap. Yeah. Tell, tell me about your, uh, your golf so handicap. So right now I play off an eight. So oh, nice. Not not bad, not great, but um, hopefully to get a lot better. In this what's summer. your strength on the course? Is you like you um, got you hit your big hitter? My short game is good. Oh really? That's okay, that's yeah. that's where all yeah. the that's where Putting the swings chip. are, right? Yeah, definitely. Really, definitely. you can putt well. Yeah. Does your yeah. dad play golf? Yeah. You yeah. smoke him? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say that on air, but yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, lacrosse or golf, which, what would you pick? I mean, I'm kind of like a I love lamp kind of guy. So, I mean, whatever I'm playing right now is really what I like. How about tech? What, what's, what's hot in tech these days for young people? Um, uh, I mean, you, you, you use tech all the time, yeah, right? You yeah. survived COVID yeah. with horrible yeah. tech, yeah. like Zoom. The, the big thing right now is for probably kids my age is probably social media, definitely number one. Um, getting through, getting marketing, and there's definitely a lot of business opportunities to be had through social media, especially for the younger gener generation. And also uh, the resurgence of AI, AI programs such as like OpenAI, ChatGPT. Um, there's you really ChatGPT. I mean, yeah, uh, not for schoolwork. Because that's obviously because you're not supposed to. Not or? supposed to. Not I mean, supposed I, to. I, I, I don't. Want, I wonder what you think about this, Tyler. My feeling is they should teach how to prompt yeah. ChatGPT, yeah, like because that's a skill. Mm -hmm. I think the better you can prompt, the more uh, uh, productive and effective you're mm -hmm. going to be. But the you're saying the the teachers at Boston Latin are like are, no go. Out of it. Yeah. So is it honor system or they? You know they it's, can they have ChatGPT sniffers. Yeah, they <laughs> have so, detectors. Um, so you really have to stay away from them. So but, what do you use it for? Um, it's usually like, I haven't started it yet, but a lot of kids are starting to use it for just like, um, I mean, it's, it's being used a lot in business for, especially for young people. Um, resume writing, resume writing. Yeah. Like that's that. definitely one of them. Writing, ideation. It's very good at writing prompts, um, getting you on the right track. So I use it a lot for even just like templates for projects and stuff like that. Um, but I think it could really have a big impact. What's your favorite social platform? I don't know. I would say. X? What do you say? You on X on Twitter? A little bit. I don't really. So post not so much Twitter. Twitter. So TikTok, Instagram. TikTok's big in my generation. Facebook, Instagram, no. No Facebook. No Facebook. No. Right. That's, no for, Facebook. that's for old folks. No Facebook. And no. millennials. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Those but millennials. Insta. You're into yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I'm into Instagram. And TikTok. Um, yeah, TikTok too. LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, a little bit. My dad has it, so. Yeah, because yeah. that's that's the business track, it's the business right? Side. So you yeah, want to get into business track. after yeah, school? Yeah, I think or? so. I think so. Are you, are you, are you, are you looking at colleges yet, or? Uh, not really. Next year is when it's going to start really ramping up. 
So, yeah. 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 What was COVID like for you? So that was what, uh, three years ago? So Yeah, so I was in... Like middle school? Yeah, back then? it was the last half of sixth grade, beginning of seventh grade. So the high school I go to begins in seventh grade. So it was kind of a big challenge because I got into the school and then the next day they said the year is going to be basically canceled. So um, I, had, I had fully virtual school for about six months and then in around April, or March of 2021, I went back hybrid. So I was in two days a week out three. I remember Latin was one of the earlier schools, I think, to, to push that, yeah. push that back. Yeah. So, but you're lucky that you weren't, you know, like my son was a junior, so he missed his prom, yeah, right? That's a big so that thing. was a bummer. Yeah. And yeah. you know, a lot, of, you know, when you're in that sort of upper echelon of high school, you know, you. Freshman year is a little tough, the transition. Yeah. Yeah. Sophomore year, you you know, you get in your, your legs. Plus, yeah. you play varsity sports, so mm -hmm. so you're one of the cool kids, you know. <laughs> yeah. But then by the time you're a junior, senior, you're like, hey, you're top of the mountain. But so that got taken away. So you're lucky in, in, in that regard. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. It, it, definitely, it definitely helps that it was that early because um, I know there was a lot of – I know a lot of kids were – um, a little older than me from varsity from sports. Um, they said it was just tough, especially that junior year is a pivotal year for academics to get into college. To have that uh, taken away, tough. it's tough. Yeah. So, what do you hope to accomplish this year and uh, for the rest of your high school career? I mean, I just need to keep the grades up. Try to get into a good college. So. You got good grades? Yeah, I have. Yeah, you crush it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll keep crushing it. Like That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me on. You're very welcome. All right. And thank you. Keep it right there. We got more action from Sales Accelerator, the exec event in Massachusetts. Right back.